start, which is pump start. So right now on the top left hand side it's blinking black and white, which means that it's running the flue gas sampling. Flue gas is going through and it's doing the measurements. To stop it, just press P stop, which means pump stop. And if you want to save it, you just press memory on the function, but sometimes it just shows, it just lists the functions that you're using. If you want to get more functions on the screen, you press the configuration button, which is the hook icon, and immediately press the blue button, and it'll show you the list of functions available. If you want to put a particular function like mem for memory, you just scroll down to the, scroll down the list to mem, and press OK. So right now I've put the function mem on the, to the display screen and I've clicked on it using the blue button and it'll save the data. When the pump stops the values freeze on the screen and to actually print it out you go line feed to get the paper running up from the control unit and then to print just scroll to the print function and you'll start printing. How to configure the instrument? The book icon is the configuration icon. So once you press it, the, the configuration icon comes up. Basically, there's memory, sensors, input, device, and service. Memory, if you want to just press OK, there is four functions from memory, which is readout, program, delete memory, and it'll show you free memory as well. To read any existing memory on the system, you just press OK to, to read memory. And the dates of the actual recording of when the measurement was taken will show on the screen. And to press OK on one of them, it will show you the list of the parameters that were taken at that time. And to get out of this function, just press Escape from the, from the function panel. Like I said, the functions will be listed down here if you want to. If you don't see it, just scroll left and right to the actual function. And again, exit. There's a program. If you want to do a program on the instrument so that it can be run using specific settings like measuring rate and the time of the measurement, for example. Measurement program, the four program, once I've pressed OK, these four programs here, press OK into measuring measurement for program one. Basically, there's, there's five options here. I'll go through them. There's start, which means you can choose how it starts, either manually or by date and time setting. There's mean, which means that you can either choose the data to be collected as a, as a set, which comes out as a mean, or whether you get each data points individually. And you just click yes or no. Measuring rate pump is the rate at which the samples are taken. For example, here if I put 9 seconds, then the, a sample will be taken every 9 seconds. After I click on 9, I press end to actually save it. And there's also the option of end, how the measurements are ended, either if the memory is full or the number of values that it measures or through date and time setting. So if I click on memory full, then it'll take as many measurements until it reaches maximum capacity. The gas time is actually how long the sampling time is for. It's in minutes. So if I press two minutes and press N, then it'll save it for a two minute sampling time. And the rinse time, if, if I press current, it'll show you what's been currently set, which is at the moment five minutes. If I press N, it'll just store it as that setting. So, and then once you've put in every parameter for the programming, for the program one, then it lists out what, what settings you have put onto the program one on the display screen and you just press OK. The settings are saved 
and now there's a star next to program one which means that the settings are in place and again you can go through program two program three and program four basically in sensors one can one can calibrate sensors for carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide nitrogen monoxide and oxygen if i press sensors okay there's the recalibrate option there print there's the sensor status which shows you when it was last calibrated if one wants to calibrate the sensor just press ok to recal choose the sensor press ok enter the test co gas concentration press N to accept value and to save the nominal or actual value without calibrating the, the sensor just press MEM or OK to calibrate. A test gas check can be carried out to check the recalibration. And there is also the option in sensor to check sensor status as well. OK, I'll just go through things to watch out for. Basically, the flue gas probe one has to put into the duct where, whereby the tip of the probe would be sitting at the center of the flow of the duct. So it would be sitting exactly in the middle of the diameter of the duct and there are different probe lengths for different size of ducts as well and basically with the probe one has to make sure that pressure cap is there if it's not there if it's not seated there then then obviously there will be a leaks to the system and also one thing to watch out for, for before switching on the measuring system is to check that all system components are properly connected like the connector and also to check that all the necessary probes and sensors are connected and also the power supply of all system components is guaranteed with flue gas measurement it's it can be used for diesel engines but not petrol engines it's not recommended for petrol engines and also with the instrument things to watch out for include the fact that it's got pumps in there free pumps and a pelt air gas system which sits inside the instrument and it doesn't like water so any liquid that gets soaked into the instrument will actually cause it to malfunction And if the moisture content is greater than 35%, then this instrument will require the external drying gas system, which will half the moisture content before it runs through the system. 